Hi, my name's Conor Stewart, or Inyala Music. Today I'm just doing a little rundown of a free instrument that I've made that's for free download. Basically within Ableton, I was always having trouble finding a good set of steel drums or something I could play as steel drums. So what I've done is I found some samples from an old Roland SC55, and I've just run those through sample. I've got two chains up at the minute. I'll tell you why in a second. But essentially, it's just samples of Cs from zero up to six. I mean, I can always stretch them further if you need them. You can always do that. But that's all I've got in the mix. That's the range I need. And basically, I've just got two effects racks set up on each. And yeah, it's, I mean, it's fairly simple. Both the chains are pretty similar in what they do. Um, in terms of macro controls, I've not added a lot because I didn't want too much going on, but I think what you've got is a fairly flexible sound. Um, my favourite one at the minute is this dub ragger thing, which I'll get to in a second. But uh, now if we go through them all, they're all fairly useful tools, I think. So the first we've got at the minute, we've got uh, just a simple attack and release. I mean, both fairly self-explanatory, depending on what you want to play. Um, what I've done is I've added this one here called Retro Raga. And what I wanted to do is, if you look at, um, is it Aretha and Donna track Uptown, top ranking? Uh, there's a really nice sort of synth. It's obviously not, it's not a steel drum or anything, but... It's the sort of sound I was going for. So what I've done is I've run that through... Uh, where is it? Uh, here we go. Um, I've put a vinyl crackle on there. And... There you go, there's my rack. Uh, there's, yeah, there's vinyl crackle and everything like that. Um, it's No, I kept it... Fairly simple, actually, because I didn't want to overcomplicate everything. But there's final crackle, there's bits of compression, there's a saturator on there as well. But no, all in all, there's not a lot to it. But what you do is once you've got your clean signal and the value turn up, um, there's a little bit of EQ on there as well, and your crackle coming through, and then you hear your saturation kick in. Um, Another one I thought useful was this introduction of a low pass filter. Um, just I thought it'd be quite useful for uh, if you wanted some swelling chords. I mean, you might decide to pop some reverb on there. And if you've got some chords, you set a slower attack. Yeah. Just a bit more mellow. It might be useful if you want to do some, perhaps some pad sounds like. It all depends, essentially, what sound you're going for. Um, let's just set those back. Uh, I added a glue compressor just because I, I sometimes I like the sound of that over over compressed sound. All that's mapped to is the threshold, so the makeup gain stays exactly the same. Of um, that, fairly basic. Um, it say it applies on the other signals too, so. You get a compressed retro signal as well. Um, what I really like is to say my favourite is this dub ragger. All it is is a ping pong delay um, set to the same values on both the, uh, what do you call it, both on the clean and the retro channel. Because um, I've always been a big fan of dub reggae and stuff like Easy Star All Stars and stuff like that. And I think it's quite a nice little. Effect, especially if you couple that with your low pass. Um, all that is is set up. So that's just a dry wet mix, so 100% wet, and then 100% dry. Um, again, it applies to your to both signals, and it's quite quite a useful little uh, tool, I think. Um, I added a chorus on it as well. It's only something simple. Just add a bit of colour. That's just, again, it's just a dry wet. And the same with this tremolo. 
here. I mean, if you really want to, obviously, you can go into uh, into your actual into the rack itself, into the effects, and choose whether you want them. You want to change your dry wet and stuff like that, and the range of them. Perhaps if you go up into your macro settings up here. But all I've done is I've um, put a dry wet on, set it to one hundred percent. But I've, amount wise, I've kept it quite subtle. Because I didn't want something too overbearing, so I think it's quite. I think it's quite tasteful. I'd like to think it's quite tasteful. Tremolo. I think it sounds really nice, especially if you put your put the delay on it, and then run your delay through the tremolo because that's last in the chain. Uh, you get some interesting, almost pad-like sounds. Just a bit of colour. Um, all in all, I think it's a fairly, a fairly simple instrument. There's not a lot, not a lot to it, but hopefully, I mean, I quite like the sound of it. I've used it in a few songs now, um, and I've always struggled. Like I say I struggled to find something like this. So hopefully, this will be of use to other people as it has been to myself. So I'll put a link in the description below for a free download of it and. No, I'll put links to you know my SoundCloud and stuff like that. And if you feel like checking that, then please do by all means. Um, that's it. So thank you.